Hello, everyone. My name is Frank. I'm with Devoom. I'm here to talk about the Devoom Smart App and how does it work with our new product Tivo here. So, uh, first, uh, after you open the app, you need to connect it to the the Tivo uh, Tivo Light, and also in the Bluetooth settings, you need to connect to the Tivo Audio to pair the speaker. For demonstration purpose, I already have them connected and already logged into my account. But uh, if you don't have an account, you can always come here and then uh, to create accounts and uh, um, to log into yours. <laughs> so uh, let's get started. First of all, uh, what we have here on, on the banner is the uh, the weather. It shows you that it's right now it's 18 Celsius, uh, the temperature, the weather, etc. Uh, if you click in here, it will give you more information as, as well as the uh, weather forecast for the next five days. Uh, and use your uh, GPS data, and also here you can use set it to hour or specific time, meaning that every hour or uh, every about that specific time, it will report the weather and show it on the on the screen here. Uh, this is the avatar. This is the logo that uh, for your profile. Uh, you can set it here. Click on here and select a different icon, or you could go to your account and set a different one. Uh, let's talk about the main function. Uh, the main function is actually located at the bottom. Uh, when you press this icon here, the first one is the clock, so it can show you a different time. Sorry, and uh, you can change it to a different color theme. So if I would use purple or um, yellow, then that will change the color of the of the screen. Uh, at the bottom here, you can show you the temperature, the weather, uh, and the date. So once you have them checked, then uh, every five second or ten, then it will start to rotate and give you different information like uh, 18 Celsius. It's uh, the weather outside, etc. And right now it's uh, Thursday, December 21st. Uh, the next one is the full screen uh, lighting. So you can ch uh, rotate on this uh, wheel here and change it to a different color. Uh, we have different color theme and you can adjust the brightness. So that's uh, full screen um, LED colors. The next one is uh, Pixel Monthly. So every month or so, we're going to update and give you the 100 uh, best or uh, the most downloaded or most popular. Um, uh, pixel art designs from uh, us or from the users. The next one is the uh, VJ. This have all the default light uh, visual effects that we have included, uh, so you can pick a different ones. The next one is equalizer. So when you're playing sounds, uh, these icon, all this pro different profile will change according to the music. Uh, so if you're playing uh, uh, music with a lot of beats, then you'll see this uh, start moving a lot rapidly. The last one is the uh, what we have here is the a pixel art frame. So uh, if you press this button here, you can select let's say this here and press OK up on the right hand corner, and that will be the picture art frame. Meaning that like no matter if you're using the uh, using the TV without your phone, uh, whenever you rotate this button, it, it will show you this icon. So it kind of like a, a, a photo. Um, uh, picture frames uh, that you can sell on your desk. So it can be a f picture, it can be animations. Um, the next functions are the one that uh, the little grids right here. The first one is the music. This is the music play that we have included. Uh, if it asks you to access the library, press OK. Uh, the top is the volume. The bottom is the uh, progress bar. You can uh, shuffle, loop, or uh, repeat repeat one. This is the previous song, play, pause, next song, and then this is to access your iTunes library. Uh, please know that uh, the TiVo is a Bluetooth speaker, meaning that you could use our music play, but you can also use all your uh, third party music play or even uh, iTunes to play your songs. So if you uh, always use your Spotify, always use your Pandora, you can keep on using it without using our music player. The next one is the DJ mixer. So if I go in here, so I can create my own mix, and uh, you can check them. So a little mixer table is for you to play. The next one is uh, voice memo. For this one, you can select different kind of uh, voice profiles, like a man, a woman, or a kid, or the original voice, always. And uh, you hold it, and you start to speak. It will record message, and once it's done, it will replay. And then it will show you a message icon. So let's say if uh, you uh, gonna have a leave early for your work, and you have some message for your family, you could uh, leave a message right here. And then when they wake up, they're gonna see this flashing uh, messenger icon here. And then they press play, and will play back whatever voice that you recorded. 
our voice message can uh, go on for one minute, and uh, it's it's. Can you start to speak? It will record. There you go. So it's uh, go for a minute, and uh, once you played it, it will delete it automatically. So it's not stored from on there forever. However, uh, up on like if you have not listened to the message and you turn on and off the unit, the message will still be there. So it's kind of like a uh, a fridge note uh, that you can put on the refrigerator. Uh, the next one is design. This is for you to create a pixel art. So you can change to a different color, make. Uh, Different profile. There's a color bar at the bottom, so you can select more different colors. And then there's a color chart here as well, so even more color. And uh, this icon here is to fill the entire screen with one single color. So let's say I select yellow and then press this button, then I fill the entire screen with the uh, yellows. Uh, this one right here, uh, this little icon right here is to undo. So I just draw this blue lines, then if I press, then it's gone. The eraser means that I'm going to erase the whole screen. The play button is just to show whatever that I have drawn and then you show it right here. This is to access the, um, the library. We have all kinds of designs here, which I'm going to cover later uh, regarding the, the gallery. You can pull up a picture and then make some, um, uh, to alter it a little bit, perhaps. Like, for example, I can make different. Then you're gonna... And then the last one is to store. So if i done with this graph, and now I can give it names for it, and then I press done, then press OK, then that will store onto my local gallery. And then you can choose cloud. Cloud means that is the online gallery. We do have an online gallery for all the users to share the graph, including yourself. Um, that way, uh, if people like your drawing, they can download yours, or if you like someone else's drawing, you can download theirs. The last one is just to uh, customize into the, the picture frame that I talked about earlier. So then uh, this graph will be the permanent picture that uh, uh, available to this device only. So uh, I'm just going to give it, save a name for it. And then press OK. And it will pop a message telling you that it's saved. OK, all right. Then the next one is the animation. Animation is uh, is somewhat similar to the first one, except that now you're not making a single frame, but you're making multiple frames. So if I here make one, press the save button right here, uh, it's going to save the frame, not exactly the, the file. So you press here, you change to this one here. So after you're done with all this, all the button at, at uh, all the buttons here are similar. The only difference that is this save button is only saving to the individual frame, not the entire uh, animation. So at the bottom here, this adjusts the animation speed, so it can be slower or faster. And when you press a play, then it will start to like to preview the the animation that you just made. When you're done, um, you can press save right here. It will save the animation speed as well. This little button right here is uh, toggle here is that for you to copy the first frame. So if you're making an animation, um, for example, let's say I pick an animation from um, this one right here. I want to copy this frame. All I have to or I want to copy this frame. All I have to just check this and press. And when I go in there, it will be the exact same frame as before. So if I press this one again, it's going to be the same frame again. Uh, we support an animation up to 24 frames, so you can keep adding. And if you want to delete them, just hold it. And it asks you for delete and press OK, then it's gone. So that's the animation part. The next part is the LED, um, the editor. So what it does is that uh, you can enter a string of text. And then uh, you can adjust the text speed. <laughs> Faster, slower, press it, and start play. It'll start showing up on here. Now, uh, there are two bars. The, the bottom one, the blue bar, is for the background, the light effect. So right now it's on fire. I can put it to plasma 2. And uh, I can change the color or the way that it shows, like if it's a, fr a flip or if it's a vertical inverter, then uh, the color, let's say neon, then if I like it, I think that's good. Then I can just press save, and it will save into my local library or share on cloud. So this, uh, by the way, this uh, LED uh, editor support all different kind of languages. So uh, if your phone is in German, in, uh, Spanish, or in English, Chinese, it will all show up. So that's that. 
And uh, let me show a picture here. And uh, this, the next one here, this uh, is a calendar thing is the daily planner. So what you do is that you can set a daily calendar for your uh, events. So give it a name, and then give it time. Uh, when it's gonna repeat for the entire week, and how it's gonna show if it's gonna flash. Uh, you know, just a single color, or it's gonna be an icon and time, or just the icon, a stopwatch, and of course you can choose a different icon to remind yourself. So if it's the American flag right here, then I think that's good. Then save it. Then that will be a profile, and you can add more and more profile together. Once you're done, you're gonna have something like this, where it will remind your daily activity. Like for example, if you're studying for a final, you are um, uh, doing exercise at home, then it will be like a planner that tell you to okay it's time for rest or it's time to uh, do another set of uh, push up then that's for that daily routines the next one is sleep a this is for you to sleep at night so first thing you need to do is talk, toggle on the sleep timer uh, set the time 10 to 90 minutes you can change a different color uh, brightness of the LED lights and the loudness of the, 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 the profile that you select. It could be fire, wine noise, meditation, even lullabies, or your own music. So what's gonna happen is that this uh, TiVo will continue to play, let's say your song for uh, 10 minutes, what I said have here, for 10 minutes, and after 10 minutes up, it will power off itself. So that means that you don't need to worry about, oh, it's continue to play for the entire night. No, it will just play for 10 minutes, then it will power down itself, just like the TV sleep timers. So and we can turn this off here. The next one is the alarm. So uh, we have different profile here, and uh, you can set your daily alarm. Let's say in the 9 a.m. and then Monday. You can select never. If it's never repeat, that means that it's going to happen once. So if I set a 9 a.m. alarm, it will go off in um, the next 9 a.m., meaning that right now, if right now it's 7 a.m. in the morning, then it will go off in two hours. But let's say right now it's already um, 4 p.m. in the afternoon, then it will go off next morning at 9 a.m. Here are all the profiles that you can select. Uh, one more thing is uh, that you can adjust the volume here. <laughs> And the uh, one uh, extra profile is that this one right here. This one, once you're going then you bring it to the voice memo. So what it does is that you can record a piece voice message as the uh, wake up alarm sound for yourself. So you can, you could literally like tell yourself to wake up in your own voice. So that's that's how it work. Once that's done, you can toggle on off whichever alarm that you have. We have multiple ones, so you can set alarm for, to wake up, set alarm for to take the medicines, etc. Uh, tools. Sorry, this is this one right here. Uh, we have several basic tools. This is scoreboard for uh, uh, physical events. Like if you're playing a uh, uh, soccer, you're playing basketball, or you're playing chess, then this is how you record a score, and uh, you can reset it over here. Celebration day, this is for you to uh, keep a little reminder. For example, uh, next week is your, um, your, your wife's birthday, then you want to set it right here, or your parents' birthday. Um, then you can set the day, set the time, set the gallery. Gallery means that you can select whichever icon that you want to be the reminder. For example, uh, the 15% off, meaning that you can say uh, uh, next week uh, we have a 15% off in the local drugstore, then that will be the reminder. It will go off in the next um, uh, the next week to define the time, you can select day and time, etc. So that's the uh, celebration dates. Stopwatch. Stopwatch is pretty straightforward. Just uh, to record a time, and then you can pause. You can reset it. So that's all the uh, that's all it to it. Noise meter. Noise meter is just to uh, to gauge how loud um, that uh, the current uh, voice uh, or the the sound is. Okay, you can stop it. Uh, the next part is the gallery. I'm oh, sorry. The next part is the notification. This is one of the major functions. So what it does is that it will ask you to pair. Make sure to press pair. Otherwise, it will not display any notification at all. So press pair. Uh, in here, we have all different kinds of social media apps. Kakao, Chow, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, other events like incoming comments, call, uh, others. So if you want something to go off, then you toggle it on or off. Uh, what this gonna do is that when someone is let's say message you on Twitter, send you a message in, in Twitter, 
uh, the TiVo here will flash a, the, uh, the the Twitter icon, letting you know that someone just messaged you. Because sometimes you don't look you don't look at your phone. You have your phone face down, but someone just messaged you on Twitter. You will see this uh, changing from the, the previous logo to a flashing Twitter. Then you know someone just messaged you. That way, it will be an instant reminder, letting you know that okay, it's time to look for your phone and see what's going on with the Twitter. So that's the notification part. The last part is the games. Uh, in here, we include several uh, different games, uh, like the Tetris, um, the Pixel R slot, the Dice, the Magic A Ball, and then the, the the Astro Battles. Some of them are using the uh, the just a simple press and go. So, like for example, the slot machine, you press it and start going. Dice, or even the Magic A Ball. Now, uh, the Pix, uh, the Tetris is that uh, once you press. Play, you have to move the knob to move the grids and then press it to rotate the grids so that's how you play it and of course this one uh, you have to use the, the knob to uh, to move the bar so that's how it works uh, the next part we're gonna cover is at uh, the bottom here uh, the first one is home so whichever screen that you're at if you're not sure you don't want to know or you want to undo something you just press home and then it always bring you back to this page gallery this is where we have all the pictures the first icon is the one that you have your lo on your local storage so these are the one that you create uh, there's an animation this is the picture and then these are the text so you can create right here these are the uh, popular one that we created include with the apps this is the country flags number and letters emojis and uh, animation or celebrations and the last one is the cloud this is where all the TiVo user will upload and share their graph online and once they're on there you like it you can hold hold a picture give it a name and then press OK and it will be saved to your phone so just press OK then it will be saved and it will appear right uh, somewhere here. You see, that's uh, the whatever picture that I, I saved and it goes in right there. So that's the online gallery. That's for people to share their graph. If they like your graph, they will download yours and vice versa. You can also download someone else's graph. Um, the next part is the chat. This is um, where you can add another user. Uh, the other use, user doesn't necessarily need to have a device with them. Uh, they can be, let's say, you only have one device and you added your friend as uh, the, the buddy. And uh, you can chat with your buddy where you can send message, you can send picture, you can send voice message. You can even send the, the emoji right here the, all the or any pixel art designs here. And once you do that, the icon will show up on the, the connected device. So meaning that let's say your friend's in Starbucks, he's drinking coffee, and then he asks you something, and then um, he asks you, do you, want, uh, uh, do you want to bring a coffee? And then and you want to say no, then just send this to him. And this will show up on his device saying no. So that's how it works. Um, the next part is the setting. These are the general settings. Uh, account this is where you can redo the name uh, the nicknames birth dates and also as well as the icon and you can also lock out um, settings these are the 24 hour format that's for uh, either you're in 12 or 24 hour formats the song display meaning that when you're playing a song you as soon as the song start playing it would uh, it will scroll the, the song's name across the screen shake shake um, that's for you to adjust the brightness, meaning that if you turn it on and then you shake your phone, shake your mobile phone, then the brightness will change. Uh, the sound command is that uh, when you're using a loud noise, uh, uh, like clapping your hand or yelling and shouting, then the, the brightness will uh, change accordingly. And the last one, uh, sorry, the next one is the energy saver mode. So when you turn this on, if you're not doing anything with the, with the TiVo for five minutes, the screen will power off but only the screen not the speaker so the speaker is still playing songs so you can and the mattress system this is for you to uh, use your uh, to, to look at your temperature if you're using Celsius or Fahrenheit for the states start logo every time you want to start your uh, your TiVo it can be the default logo or it could be the logo that you set to it uh, light intensity this is just the brightness so you can adjust the brightness to your preference Auto power off. That means that when you are not using unit, the unit is not playing song, you are not drawing anything to it, uh, it will automatically power off itself. 
uh, within a certain time. You can set a time right here. Device list. This is for when you have more than just one TiVo. You have multiple or different units. You can switch to different units. Uh, the last one is about this to check the software version and check for update. So that's pretty much all about the software. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our email address is socialdvoom at, uh, social at gmail.com. Thank you and have a good day.